The world has always been an unpredictable place, but recently it seems more unpredictable than it used to be. You never know when you might need some portable power to keep the lights on, so to speak. There are a few different portable power supplies in Max Oak's Blue Eddy line, some of which are pretty big. That said, not everyone needs a big, ultra-powerful pseudo-generator. When you just need to power a few household electronics, the Max Oak Blue Eddy AC100 has just enough power to get the job done, and it's relatively light, at least enough that you can pick it up and move it around. The AC100 might be a little smaller than some others in the Blue Eddy line, but that doesn't mean it's tiny, nor is it exactly light. The size is just slightly bigger than a car battery, and it weighs in at 34.4 pounds, or 15.6 kilograms. While most of that weight comes from the internal lithium-ion battery, a significant portion of it does come from the build. This is a sturdy power source with a handle for easy carrying. It feels like it could survive a drop from a few feet, but I wouldn't want to find out the hard way. The battery may be tough, but it does have its weak points. The biggest of these is that it isn't waterproof. Now that's not a problem if you're just using it around the house, but it could be if you intend to bring it on a camping trip. Functionality is simple. Just press the power button on the front, then tap the AC or DC buttons on the front to enable power to those ports. You can use both at the same time, but the individual switches make it easy to route power only to where you need it. You'll be using both switches often because aside from the two AC sockets on one side, every other port provides DC power. One extra bit of functionality comes from the built-in light. Turn on the battery, then tap the light button, and you've got yourself an extremely heavy, largely unwieldy light source. That said, that light could end up being really handy during a power outage when you're trying to plug something into the AC100. The built-in display is easy to read both indoors and outdoors. As with other models in the Blue Eddy line, the five-segment battery indicator doesn't give you a good idea of how much power is left. That said, that's the only real problem with the display. Being able to see exactly how much power is discharging at any given time is really useful. The review unit I got arrived mostly charged, so I had quite a lot of work to do to discharge the battery so I could charge it again. Given the capacity, that took a while. There are two ways to charge the Blue Eddy AC100, one of which is the standard AC adapter included in the box. As this is such a large battery, you'll need a while to charge it, roughly 10 or 11 hours. The other option for charging the Blue Eddy is to use a solar panel. This supports plenty of solar panels as long as they have a working voltage between 16 volts and 40 volts and a max of 10 amps. A DC to MC4 charging cable is even included in the box. I had hoped to get my hands on a solar panel for the purpose of this review, but I wasn't able to make that happen. If you're interested in charging via solar, see our review of the Max Oak Blue Eddy 1500 watt hour backup solar generator, as that is largely similar to this one, just with more capacity. Solar power is great, but it's not exactly known for being predictable as so much is reliant on the weather. How fast the AC100 charges depends partly on the panel you're using and partly on how the weather is while you're trying to charge. You can power anything with the AC100 as long as it doesn't draw more than 600 watts. That means coffee grinders, TVs, computers. Max Oak even advertises using it to power a car fridge or a mini fridge. That said, the AC100 won't charge everything. For example, this likely won't charge a refrigerator unless it's extremely energy efficient, and that's not something they tend to be. Likewise, you can't expect it to power a microwave, a toaster oven, or even an instant pot as they all draw more than 600 watts. Fortunately, you don't need to worry about accidentally plugging in something with too big of a draw. The AC100 has built-in protection against overcharge, overcurrent, overvoltage, and overheating. Now, I tried out a bunch of different devices when it came to testing this. I didn't think this would provide much of a challenge, but just to say I did, I plugged a 50 watt Marshall guitar amplifier from the mid 80s into the Blue Eddy AC100. As expected, the AC100 had no problem powering the amp, but there was a strange little bit of background noise. I'm going to blame this on this being a 35 year old solid state amp that has been in and out of the repair shop more than a few times, rather than blame it on the Blue Eddy. Just to make sure that the AC100 didn't have any significant issues with noise, I decided to power my home audio setup with it. This includes an Audio-Technica turntable, a hybrid tube integrated amplifier, cassette deck, and input switcher. 
As expected, the AC100 powered everything without any sort of problem, and there was no noise. It was exactly like it was plugged into the wall. It can be hard to predict how long any battery will last unless you know exactly how much power you're drawing. Fortunately, the readouts on the AC100's built-in display make this very easy. Once you know how much power you're drawing, you can figure out roughly how long the battery will last. This model has 1000 watt hours of capacity. That means that drawing one watt continuously would get you about 1000 hours, or using 100 watts will get you about 10. That formula works, but you won't always be working with neat units of 10 or 100. Still, the Bluetti performed as expected, delivering power for roughly as long as I expected. Next up, I decided to try the AC100 with my home theater setup. That includes a 55-inch LCD TV, a 5.1 receiver, powered subwoofer, and Ultra HD Blu-ray player. All of this only displayed a load of around 100 watts, even during playback at loud volumes, so I could have expected around 10 hours of playtime. Call me crazy, but I didn't feel like watching TV for 10 hours. That said, after watching a roughly two and a half hour movie, it had drained about as much as I had expected it to. While it's not as powerful as other products in the Blue Eddy line, the AC100 is still powerful enough to keep a fair amount of electronics running for quite a while. The occasional slightly gimmicky feature like the built-in flashlight, which you may or may not use, doesn't do anything to take away from that either. It's handy how powerful this power bank is, but that doesn't mean much if you're aiming to power your refrigerator and this won't take care of that. While the AC100 will handle most things you throw at it, its portability does come with a slight trade-off of sheer power. The more important thing to consider when looking at the Blue Eddy AC100 is whether it does what you need. The Max Oak Blue Eddy AC100 isn't exactly cheap, but hey, we've got a coupon code that can save you 158 bucks off the purchase price. Check down in the description for the code so we can make sure it's always up to date. If you want more detailed specs and some extra info, check out the written version of this review over at makeuseof.com. You'll find a link down in the description. While you're there, you can enter a giveaway to win one of these for yourself. How cool is that? You don't even actually have to read the article if you don't want to. Just go to makeuseof.com slash giveaways. When you get to the part about a video bonus question, enter portable power, all one word. Thanks to Max Oak for supplying the review unit. And as always, thank you for watching.